Well, I'm using a, a Samsung WB100 and it's quite handy. I just stuck it on the ledge here, so I'll just let you see how I do it. You know, and if it was really important, you put something to protect the face so you didn't get this stuff on here. And it, again, if it's very important that you don't um, get it on the face, you almost need a drier mix because this is, this is fairly wet and it's going to stain, but although it's not too bad. So again, just making sure you got the horse hair in there and then that's packed in as hard as it can go and then I have to decide how much angle I'm going to put on this, this bottom. I want it so that it's sloping away. From the, the wall. I don't know what the thickness is of this stuff. I, I think this this horsehair plaster render whatever we want to call it cement it takes a while to dry so I need to get ready to put a little bit of water not water but uh, plastic protection Take and put some piece of plastic and staple it over there, over it tonight. Or maybe we leave it on for tomorrow. So they said that the application is only as good as the applicator. So whatever that means, I mean, I don't know if you just have to, if that means giving it a nice smooth finish and trying to get a little bit of mud or, you know, cream to the surface so that it seals good or what. But uh, that's it for now, okay? Thanks for watching again. Bye. Bearwood Brown on the Bearwood, BearwoodBrown.com, the Bearwood Brown channel on YouTube if you want to see any more of my crazy, stupid stuff. Okay, thanks. Bye.